are doing a modified flip for this unit. We're doing a unit on human body systems. Um, there are 10 chapters. I sh did Google Docs, shared the kids with their reading assignments, and they have some written work on paper. Um, I also shared with them all of my class notes. Uh, I both Google Docs, but I also print them out for them because they still like taking notes on paper. So what we did, because most of my kids have very different levels of coming with anatomy, and especially in this class, I probably have six or seven kids who've taken either last year this or anatomy and physiology. They know all the basics of the system. So for me to get up and lecture and talk about system after system after system isn't the most effective teaching method and bores half of them, doesn't get the other half. So what I gave them to do is I used our online uh, text. I gave them which has animations, I gave them which animations, which sections they should do, which activities, which practice quizzes, which um, MP3s they should watch, which bio flicks, all of these things that are on here, and said, okay, go. And then they're working independently, and then they, I've given them sort of a set of benchmarks by Monday, here's what everybody needs to know and where's everyone needs to be. And then Monday we're going to unflip and then go over, um, I'll, I'll point out the highlights, but and then the uh, answer any questions. So we'll spend two days then before their test doing more content and then I can point out the things that they might not be able to get just from the animations themselves. So when you say like modified flip, what do you mean by that? Well, because if a traditional flip is the kids go home and, and you know learn online and then the teacher's here to facilitate and answer questions and in some schools that we know people flip and the teacher literally just answers the questions. Um, our students are not either as comfortable, and some of it's by training, but I also think it's by, you know, long background in who they are. They prefer direct instruction, and they need some direct instruction. Because what we find is that they, while they may have really good academic levels at certain points, there are always gaps, and every time we find these huge content gaps, and without direct instruction, we'd never be able to fill it in and clarify for everybody else. Cool. Thanks. Any... Um you kind of describe like a lot of your, you know, what you're doing and mm -hmm. challenges. But any successes, challenges that you know using the equipment um, that you, as you're using it. You know, challenge. I mean, I have challenges are with any device. No device works perfectly for everything. And we're, we have we're using our netbooks. They work well with some things, not as well with other things. Um, and we're going to find some of the same things using the Chromebooks. But you know, we go beyond that. Making sure the kids are on track is always a uh, you know challenge to get them and you know, but it's just a distraction like anything else. Um, you know, I tend to when when because we do something at the beginning, bring up your your netbooks and then close them down so we can pay attention rather than you know sitting typing checking your grades. Um, we do find when some other teacher posts grades that the kids all know and then all of a sudden you hear everybody in AP A push is now knows what their score is, you know. You know, get off the, you know, e school and get back to class. So, um, that's interesting. But academically there, I mean, I think they perform we I've done this, this is actually the fourth year I've done something like this. We I used to great lecture. I did one straight online and it Neither one worked real well. When I modified it and did the combination, it worked better, and the kids performed better on the same test and on the same, you know, AP style questions. Cool.